Welcome back. We're going to try make an attempt to conclude this chapter that we're presently learning, which is Patek Tess, the ninth chapter of the Geddes of Tshuva, that is, which, as we mentioned, and of course, again, for the newcomers, this is the third segment in the Sefer Atanya, called Igeres, the letter, the epistle of Tshuva, of repentance, uh, all in its 12 chapters. But the Alter Rebbe, in these 12 chapters, revolutionizes the whole subject of tshuva, repentance, which is, of course, one of the greatest gifts Hashem gave mankind, particularly on the Israel. And um, when we know what, what the gift is, this gift is all about in detail, naturally that's the way we could go about it in a proper way and make the true connection and reconnect, that is, with Hashem in a way that Tshuva was meant to bring and present and establish itself within our system as the famous Russian Kolyom of the Tshuva, that he did, in essence, all his life, has to tune into this um, experience, yet, understandably, it's namely when there is a direct stark violation of Hashem's holy Torah and Hashem's holy mitzvahs, that's where really the idea of tshuva comes to the forefront because it's not only a kol yom of the tshuva idea, as Al-Tarebbe in the Chassidus explains, and it's explained in a number of places, tshuva doesn't even mean repentance, tshuva means returning, returning to ourselves, reconnecting, and so on. So that always has to be on a constant basis, but of course, of course, this really is a subject which is namely pertinent when there is the violation, the transgression of Hashem, the deviation of Hashem's holy path, path of our holy Torah and, and mitzvahs, that's when really we got to know exactly how to tap in to this idea of tshuva, to reconnect and and uh, utilize this opportunity which Hashem gives us, despite He's Melech Malchem, Melech Malchem Baruch, He's the King of all kings, and violating and sinning towards a king in general, and particularly Hashem, which is the king of all kings, of course, is very grave. That's that intensifies this notion why the give the idea of tshuva is such a is, is again one of the greatest gifts that Hashem ever gave his people or in mankind in general. That the ability to know that despite I sinned with name Melech Malcham 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 Baruch Hu, of the king of all kings, I have the opportunity to reconnect. Hashem opens a window and opens a door and says. Come, I'm going to accept you again, and let's reestablish this relationship. And as the Lashon Migimara, the Makam Shabbat Tshuva Einim Tzadik Mulam Einim Chelam Lamed, from the perspective of Taylor, once a this relationship is established, it becomes a greater, far greater, qualitatively, and it is expressed in many, many other ways. It's quantitative investment in Taylor Mitzvahs, far greater than the Tzadik. Again, it explained this famously in Taylor Zayin. Rebbe has a, a chapter uh, dealing with this idea why greater than the tzaddik um, in chapter Zion of Lukuti Amari. That's the first segment, right? This is the third segment we merited to conclude the the Lukuti Amari, the 53 chapters, which we mentioned quite a few times. And we say, generally, we say in Tanya, it's referring to Lukuti Amari. And then after that, the Shayyat of Emona, and he gives the true which we're presently holding. So, Pedic Zion, and he gives the true in Lukuti Amari, the first segment. Um, you can see again this idea why even closer to the tzaddik uh, when I say you, you, the, the, uh, of course you could <clears throat> read wherever you're, or you, you have access to the Tanya to look into Pedic Zion but we mentioned this uh, this together with acknowledging the hosts of this uh, shir there is this class this is there's the original website which has the advantage that all the previous classes come up in a way that it's so easy to access also, they have the advantage of the separate scroll bar on the uh, for the text. There's a, such easy to, easy to follow the class and the classes. And regarding the previous classes, it's extremely easy. It's literally a click away. We say paid exciting look with your They're all lined up. All the chapters are lined up on the left side of the screen, where you can tap into it uh, as a click away. As an example, this chapter paid exciting. Tanya on the, the website tanyaonline.com. Tanyaonline.com. So we continue where we left off, the Lofisha Pogam Abris, which is on page Tzadik Tes, which is the, the, in the original text, the ninth chapter, Avigir Sachova, Tzadik Tes, 
is the is the, the page which is on the on the left side, and we, um, or maybe we'll start from a line and a half before from the first line of the page. Vezuiz dapkus rucha berucha. Just wondering if we did. Is it myself stucco lahachas rachshvolim? I believe that we did this as well. So vezuiz dapkus rucha berucha betachlis hayich hadvekas vayich tishimach masava. This is the true idea of the adherence, the cleave of one spirit to another, with the ultimate cleave and the ultimate oneness when it comes out of love. So what is the Alter Rebbe speaking about? To click away. Let's go, go back straight to the uh, chapter, I think, uh, the, the, the ninth chapter. I believe this is the third class. Um, in this chapter, the first, the last class, and then the class before to understand what Perik Tess is all about, as it comes as a continuation of Ches, we mentioned that from Dalit and on, it presents a whole um, uh, uh, detailed <coughs> presentation regarding the whole phenomenon of sin, tshuva, and so on. And uh, the culmination, and the Pedic Test is a continuation of that. So, the just the one, the, the so the C word that Al-Tareb is saying of the ultimate oneness, the ultimate cleave of the two, which is the Yid and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is when it comes as a result of love. So, the Altareb was mentioning the idea of, in, in the end of chapter Ches, the connection of the Yud K, the He, Ila, to the Yud, which is Hashem's, in Hashem's holy name, you have the two He, the two He's, which m- m- up till the Periches Tal Tareb was speaking about, namely Tshuva Tata, Tshuva, bringing back the He, back to the Yud Ke Vav, Toshuv He, Tshuva Toshuv He, but there's two He's in Hashem's name. So he spoke about the, the He, the, again, it's an entire subject, two distinct different ideas, the Tshuva Tata and the Tshuva Ilo, uh, but there's also, and, and again, namely the, the, the mess and the problems can come, namely the Tshuva, the He Tata, which is the last name, the which makes the connection between Hashem's name, Hashem Avaye, Chilak Avaye, Amen, with the Yid, as opposed to Tshuva, the Heilah is really part, still part of the, the, the Hashem, the core of Hashem's name. We'd say it's on top, part of the Yudke, which is Chochma, Bina. Again, we spoke about this, the difference of Tshuva Tatov, not only it's in its position, the final He, but that's where the He connects, the Yudke Bovke, the energy of the Yudke Bovke, connects with the below, with ultimately starting from, with namely the Yid, namely the Yid, or the Yid, Chilak Havaya and that's where Chas V'Shalom, if it disconnects, misaligns itself with the Yid Kibov, it causes, causes a tremendous mess, as we explain, as Dr. Rebbe explains, and the idea is to realign it, the essentiality of realigning it, if not, not good, again, not to repeat everything, the the uh, information that Al-Tarebbe presented in these chapters from Dalit and on, but then Al-Tarebbe goes on, uh, in the Peri Chas, by the Yitzhub the idea of the Hey, the higher Hey, Toshub Hey, to the Yud. Yud is about Bittel. Again, not fair to take much of this class for this, which we explain in detail in the previous classes. The Yud is about the Bittel, the Hey connecting to the Yud. And also you find in Bina, Ben Yudke, you find that connection with embedded in the word Bina itself. The importance of the Hay always being connected to that Nekud of Chochmah, Bittel. And so the al says, how does it reflect in Avedah? And that causes that incredible unity. So al has a little lushen and towards the end of Pedi Tzadi Ches, again, not to go into it now. We spoke about this so in, in such detail and elaboration. So we, the, the, how does it reflect in Abayda? The Yid devotes himself to learn Teir, the Sasik Vedais of the Lashon of Zayar. He utilizes his Chochma, his, his wisdom, his, his inter- intellect rather, to involve himself in Teir, the Sasik Vedais, with love and fear, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And with that, he connects in the, the Bina to the Yud, to the Chochma, again as we spoke and explained in detail then. And then Perik Tess, he says, when we say with love and fear, he says, for that itself, you have to invest your mind, not only in learning Torah, but in, in appreciating the Godless Hashem, the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, or the reality of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and to understand it, and to have that perception 
of the Lukus, of the matter of godliness, in matters of Tuv Tam Vadas, as the Abolashan of the Dalton Rebbe say, thoroughly, and with that itself would arouse true love and fear to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Again, please take the, take the time to, pay the, to the, in this Pedic test, the first class and the second class. As the Alter Rebbe explained, this is a totally different idea, because when a Yid has that love and fear to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this whole love is Hashem, takes a different turn, it's a different, ex- total different experience. It's not only not following a checklist, which a person could serve a Kodesh Baruch Hu, of course, better than that, even though following the checklist, make no mistake, following the checklist is really the most important of everything. Don't go into this kind of a love, ex- love experiences without trying to cut away the detail following the checklist. Yes, Shiuri Mutaira every single day, Davni the Minion every single day, Mulcho Shmayomin every single day, and the not only on every day, but it's straight in the right place, and the, everything of Kashim Mazuzah, the Kadav, that's really where it counts, and that's really where what it's all about. When Elam Amai said, what Hashem really asks from us, never to try to disalign that experience, that emotional, sensational experience, Chas Vashon, that would compromise that as we call it, the checklist. For that matter, the Altarev is something so that is more interesting, and we can all appreciate that. In the fourth chapter of Lukuti Amorim, the first Chelek, first when you follow the checklist with precision, that is not only your a demonstration of your subordinates to Hashem, but that's a demonstration how you love HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You could only follow the Hashem's list with consistency, and year after year after year after year, Because just the, the only way you could do that is because you really have a love to Hashem. You can do something periodically for somebody, and even when it's difficult, which is, again, you have to submit yourself to a cause, or in, in this case, the Kabbalah Seum al accepting the Yoke of the, sub, the subordinating myself to a Kodesh Baruch will do this and that and the other. But the consistency of Teirah Mitzvahs every single day, Shachas, Mincha, Maidim, Shurim, every day, not to miss a shit. All that, what, which we do as Yidin, that itself is demonstrative that there's something brewing in my heart in the context, yes, of yes, actual love to Akash Baruch, even though I don't feel necessarily the love, the passion and love, and this is that, that cessation of love. No, but there has to be something brewing in your heart, the fact that you're so consistent. When you're from the day you put a fill in, you didn't miss a day putting a fill in decades and decades. That has to come. It's so when it comes to mitzvahs laces. But nonetheless, the, you can't compare that to someone having a true passionate love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. A different phenomenon. A different type of Veda Hashem. So the first thing, again, as we explained last week, the idea of pulling some, the, pulling in the whole system of the Yid, the whole package of the Yid into Veda Hashem. Hashem gave us actually ability to act, to speak, to think, and if he only wanted those three garments, as it's called, again, the reason why it's called garments, mentioned so many times in Tanya, but again, back to Kuti Amor in the fourth chapter, why they're called garments. So Hashem would only create us with those four garments, but Hashem created us with intellect, and the, uh, the intellectual capacity to grasp and to understand and to perceive it. And ultimately, matters of HaKadosh Baruch HaKadosh Baruch himself, like Dalton Rebbe exactly says, it's worthwhile to see in the fourth chapter of this, he gets us a tshuva. That the yid could really be masigah kodesh baruch how could a nivra how could a creator be appreciate and understand creator. The answer is because we have part of the creator in our system. Chelak avaya ame as Alter Rebbe explains detail. That's how we can have a clear, a comprehensive understanding of God, because we have that part of Hashem, part of who we are. Again, see it in the fourth chapter, also click away the fourth chapter, but get us a chuba, the present study, the present segment that we're learning. Fourth chapter. It's other places in Tanya as well. The Gimel, famous, the famous page, Gimel in Lukutia Marim, the first segment, also a click away. This is who we are. And when we have the ability to appreciate, understand, and grasp the greatness of Akash Baruch consequently it would arouse a fervorous love in our heart. A person, you're driven to this which you understand thoroughly, could bring you benefit, and you're talking about the Lukus, that the mind could perceive the, the greatness and the infinity of Akash Baruch Hu. Of course, this arouses a true passion of the heart, a fervorous passion of the heart towards Akash Baruch Hu. And so too, when it comes to Yira, reverence and association with Leisessa, Shem is a king, 
and as such, it arouses the idea of awe, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the feeling of awe, and fear, and rever namely reverence, and so on. So if there is a, uh, 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 the, the Bina is put to task, not only in its learning Torah, but it's under comprehensively understanding the greatness and the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that creates, that produces an Abba Biyira. You can see it also in the beginning of the third chapter, Lukuti Amorim, that is. The Midas are a production of intellect. So that's the message in Pedic Test, but it's also, you know, the, the, the continuation of Pedic Test, because what does it mean learning Torah with love and fear? If you're learning Torah, so it's more to an intellectual pursuit, but no, but you're an individual that you usually utilize your bina not only to understand Taya, but you to understand the great of your daita. And where does it come from? It's not just like a good suggestion. It's all mandated by Taya itself. Of course, we have to mention it. It's not like the Alfred ever suggests, okay, now take your bina and also meditate in the greatness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Additional to your bina learning Taya with Bittal, in other words, the connection of bina and the yud and, and, and the hey and the yud, tshuva ilah, of hey, the higher hey, which is explained in Pei Ches, that puts your mind to also understand the greatness of the, the greatness of Baruch. No, Baruch says it right in the Tevi. I want everything about you to be involved in Avedus Hashem. That you should love Hakadosh Baruch with all your heart and soul and might. And why are you loving Hakadosh Baruch? How could you command on love? If you love, you love. You don't love, command do don't help when it comes to love. But the point is, Hashem wants everything involved. He wants our heart and soul, everything. He wants us to love HaKadosh Baruch to love Him. And love is not a badge, I love Hashem, or I'm a Yari Hashem. Whatever. No. Love is a sensation. Fear is a sensation. Awe is a sensation. So how does the person develop this Abba? So we, and, and, and through you'll understand the meta. That's why it says it in a number of places. The reconciliation of a half of Hashem, like it's coming, I believe, from the Maggid or the Alter, or the Alter Rebbe. But how could you command the love? No, the Pesach does not come. The Pesach really begins Shema Yisroel Hashem al Hashem Echad. Hear, but hear means to say, understand, appreciate that Hashem al Kenesh Echad. You'll want to think about it deep enough. Of Hashem al Kenesh Hashem Echad matters. Of course, consequently, by half of Hashem al Kenesh you'll love Hakadosh Baruch because intellect produces produces feeling. So what you see over here, that Hashem wants all of us. He gave us these rich faculties, mind, intellect, heart. He wants them all involved in, in the Avedis service. Of course it has to culminate in thought, speech, and action, as we call it, the checklist. And that's the most important. And then like any relationship, when someone says, I love you, I love you, but don't bother me, I'm too tired to do this or that. No, if there's love, you're running. And if you're not running, you're doing it. Without running, but you're doing it. You're in. And that's obvious, because if not, it's just disillusional. It's not true. It's simply not true. You can't have a fervorous passion towards somebody, and when they ask you to do something, <clears throat> usually you drop everything you're doing. Yes, well, what can I do for you? But when you ignore or you avoid and so on, no, that means it's, it's illusionary. It's not real. And so too, when it comes... <clears throat> Hashem wants everything about our, our, our uh, the way He created us again with these rich faculties. They should be all be involved in of the service of God. And this is what the Alter Rebbe says in Pedic in, in, in this in, 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 uh, emphasized in this Pedic in the ninth chapter that when you think of Tuf Tamatas, this is a, an ignite a whole you ignite your heart. In the service of God, when your heart is ignited, you don't have to explain it to anybody. It's self-explanatory that when the heart is involved in anything, in any matter, it's a different type of service in this case. When a relationship, there's a heart involved in a relationship. We mention sometimes when there's a new, the, the, in their early stages of their, their, of their uh, establishment of life, spousal relationship, or, or before when a person... Get, get, get to know that there's a certain sensation that if someone would call someone at any given time, could you do this for me? It's, it's like it's like you drop everything because you're you're in it because there is an overt mm, passion which is flowing in your heart uh, towards that other party. 
And the point is, when one comes, progresses in his lifetime, it's not meant really to leave, even though it's expressed at certain times. But the underlying connection ought to be nothing less than perfect in a perfect unit. Yes, I will do this for you. I'm, I'm not interested in a difficult day, but you asked me to do that. But I know that this is me is you and you is me. So, of course, I'm going to do that. And there's time when the passion, uh, of course, becomes to a, a <clears throat> is, is, is increased. At certain times, it's, it comes to full expression. But the idea of it is that throughout the entire 24 hours, when these two units are, <clears throat> they, they are, are uh, these two parties become one unit, it's a, it's an, and a healthy unit, it's a different, it's, it's anything else than a robotic connection. And I use this term, of course, to the nimshal. When it comes to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, could you compare someone only following the checklist to somebody who's involved with passion? As Alter Rebbe writes, "This is Tachtus Rucho Berucho." The two spirits, you and the Yid, Hashem and you, yourself and Hakadosh Baruch Hu, are connected because it's coming out of love and a fiery, uh, a fervorous love to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The Yizdakos, that oneness. Spirit to spirit, to the extent as the Alter Rebbe speaks about everything is expressed, your connection to Kodesh is expressed on a intimate level. Different idea, total different idea. And again, as expressed, as as elaborated in the previous two class, classes. Now the Alter Rebbe goes on, so it's the idea of utilizing the Bina, the Tshuva learning Taira with Chilur Chimu, and then with Chilur Chimu, which means with fear and love. And then the Alter Rebbe goes on. Yes, to that itself, you have to utilize that very faculty of Bina to have a comprehensive understanding of, of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in order to ignite the heart, in order to reach this passionate type of service to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's where the real service is, the real connection, the intimate connection when it comes out of love. And the Alter Rebbe goes on back to the idea of learning Taira, the Sasik Beiraisa, which is again the idea of Tshuva which we mentioned in Peri Ches. And Dr. Rebbe says how important, how vital it is, precisely with someone who violated this Aveda, this, this sin which Dr. Rebbe speeks about throughout the entire Yeget Satchuva. As we've spoken about this many, many times, how the, the, the whole Yeget Satchuva was underscoring a particular sin, but Dalt Rebbe wrote it with, in, in such a unique way. He dealt with it. Others for him deal with it as well. This is one of the greatest sins that can exist. Dalt Rebbe has this Lushen in Pedic Zion, worthwhile to see it, in Ikuti Amorim, that it's worth any other, worse than any other uh, in, 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 a, in appropriate relationship. To that extent, the idea of the waste of the seminal <coughs> energy so therefore, again, you look in Pedic, you have a Pedic, famous Pedic Beis in, in, in Gimara Nida, even Mabal Oilem is the worst Aveda, the worst sin. So, so, much, so many speak about, it, but be, speak about it, but because it's a very nuanced area in the psyche, in the, in, the, in, the, in the system of the human being, so one has to be very careful, because you don't want to just talk about it and the gravity of it. You want to make sure that the person who was ever involved is sees this to ever, ever be involved in this sin with... 100% success, results of a success, 100%. And because it's such a nuanced, subtle, and sensitive matter in the system of the human being, therefore you have to be very careful how you go about it. And many wrote about it, but nonetheless, you can, can't compare the way the Alter Rebbe. When you learn Yigeres HaTshuva, it takes a while, even though the Alter Rebbe mentions it right in the beginning of Yigeres HaTshuva, the very second the very uh, the first chapter, for that matter, the very first chapter, but the way how he weaves it in to the whole Yigeres HaTshuva is something spectacular, extraordinary, and namely, the Alter Rebbe, like a, on, a, on, a, on a classy plane, a different type of presentation about this very sin, <clears throat> categorized by the Alter Rebbe himself, <clears throat> the gravity of it, in the Kotei Amor, in this very in this very Yigeres, in Yigeres HaTshuva, for that matter, this is namely the sin that Al-Tarev is dealing with in Yigeres HaTshuva, but he does it in a way that, yes, <clears throat> you learn Yigeres HaTshuva, you have a manual right now to really get rid of this hole if anybody had ever a connection to this unfortunate 
to state <coughs> fortunate conduct, to get rid of it completely and be successful with it and move on in ways that um, there is a total disconnect of your past. This is why Yiger Sakuchuva is so special and so unique. And in this case, the Altarim goes back to this very clearly, because someone compromised, someone fragmented the bris by, by discharging the seminal energy in waste, and the Ein Tzadok Leim, by the way, it's a shiny Yisuri B'yem. He does speak about other promiscuous relationships or other prohibitions of relationships, maybe De Raisa or De Rabbonon. And I'll tell you right away, adds in the brackets, when you'll say something De Rabbonon, don't think it's not that great. No, there's something in the Rabbonon, which is even beyond De Raisa, Chamurim Divir Seifim, Vuchulu, etc., that the the famous expression of the Divir Seifim, the Rabbonon is even grave, more grave than the De Raisa from a certain perspective and point of view. And it's explained in many, many places by the Altarev himself, you have a lot of Kuti Teira and so on. <clears throat> I will just add, interesting, the Altarebbe says the Ein Tzarech Leymar, because you know the Ein Tzarech Leymar, the Altarebbe is, in other words, indicating the other Arais is worse than Pagan Brisei. Um, in other words, that first Sid Meda mentioned, the central Sid mentioned over here, but the Altarebbe in Perik Zayin says it's far worse, but there itself he indicates um, in Ha'ara there that, yeah, there's something, you know, starkly, um, uh, Negative is a moderate word in this case, of course, when it comes to a formal and appropriate promiscuous relationship. So he says, but categorically, he does say there's a certain, either a certain uh, impurity the person connects to precisely with this very sin, even other, the Arayis. But what the al goes on over here is one thing is in common, pagan and mayach. It's something which begins with brain, as we know, even though it's the lifeline of the entire body. But it begins with brain, it's the person's mm, perception about matters which ultimately lead to Rechman and this, mm, these sins of pagan memeach, the blemish, and again, no need to elaborate, the blemish mm, is in the mind, and therefore to counter that, one has to get involved in mind matters, and in Teira, as a correction to that, is Tikkunay, what is this Tikkun? The Asik Beiraisa, the Mechach Menachem that he's involved, not only learns Teda, but he's Asik Beiraisa, the Asik, his business, right? We mentioned many times, you find the Lush in Chazal, how Asik Vateda, how Asik Vateda, why not, why Asik? Asik is usually a terminology used for business. By learning it's Kaida Vateda, or Lame Teda, why business? The answer is, yeah, you can see the difference of someone who's doing something correct, if it's in the context of a job, let's say, employer, very devoted, 100%, um, all with 100% honesty and integrity, does everything what he has to do, but after 5 o'clock, he goes back to a different world till 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he knows exactly what's going on. He has already has his day, next day planned, and he thinks about it and so on, but it doesn't take up his whole mitzvah, his whole mm, concentration. No, he's a 9 to 5 employee. As opposed to the employer, yeah, this is a 24-hour day involvement, sometimes formal at the office, but he sleeps his business as he eats, and he, is, is, is he sleeps, and it's all around his work and his business, his success, his progression, and his enterprise. That's the difference of about ASIC as an employee, employer and employee. The Teiru, the Lushen in Teiru many times, are Isaac Teiru, because the Ebesh in Teiru itself is telling us how we have to be connected to Teiru. Not only learning and learning ways, again, we say with full integrity, the Shurim in Teiru and so on, that's a given, as a Yid, as a from a Yid. But Hashem says, I want more from you. Isaac Teiru, I want your whole mind to be in Teiru. Of course, you're doing other things, especially you're involved in your... In, 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 in any, whatever you're involved in, being a parnasa to your family, and then for it's a kedusha or or which is also a teda mandate, the teda demand that a person supports himself, his family, and so on. But where's your asik? What's really your asik? Is teda? Is teda? So asik but teda. Your asik is in teda. And in this case, the Altarev uses the same lotion over here. What is your tikkun? Because you were pagan b'meich, because you blemished your meich, it is asik b'raisa that you. Involved in Teir, which is Teir comes from Chachma. Teir is Chachmaschma, Binaschma, and Yakalam. Teir is the Chachma of Akash Baruch. 
And that's why the essentiality to counter this <coughs> blemish which was in the Mayach is to its tikkun, its correction, is that person is involved in Teda, in learning Teda. And again, its ultimate connection to the Yehudi, to Tshuva Ilah, the Bina, getting involved, learning Teda with Bittal and so on. That's the, <coughs> that's the antidote, or that's the correction, the correction rather, what brings to this Rechman Yislan sin. <coughs> and this is what it says in Tanad that someone who violated a sin and he was meaning to say the consequence of a sin he was unfortunately um, uh, the, the, the uh, Punished with with uh, with with this, the punishment of death. I mean to say he's he's obligated, he's he's deserving as such a chaman Islam. It led to that consequence of death because of that aveda, which we know there's so many avedas, which are enumerated in Gemara and the Rama brings them that so aveda chaman Islam is kodesh and misa bin this is so aveda misa bin this and the Rama speaks about this. There's many right some. It's Tevel, whatever. They're not going to go into all the Allahs. Mm, that there's Misa B'day Shammai. So this, the Gemara speaks about all these Aveda sins, which Nishayim means, is deserving of death. But Al-Tarab is, of course, alluding to this, this Aveda, because this Aveda is also, as al speaks in the beginning of Pedic Dalid, mm, in Pedic Dalid, that the Chaman is the consequences, the consequence of this very sin is Misa B'day Shammai, the Chaman Litzlan. He brings the proof in the Eid and and so on. So what should he do? And Hashem wants to bring him back. Hashem wants to have him reconnect with him, with, with, with him, meaning to say, capital H Hashem. So what should he do? What should he do that he could uh, live and not have Rahman al this Misa, this death penalty? Of course, death penalty from the heavenly court. Which is called Misa Bide Shemai. What can he do to override that and to live? So the Tanit Velio says, If you're accustomed to read one daf, Yikra Beis Dafim. If you're accustomed to read, learn Taita with one daf, maybe even a daf Gemara, it's a daf Allah, a daf Ramam, a daf, whatever you're learning. It means that from a Yid, as a religious Jew, you daven every day, you put up to liberty, you learn Taita every day. Every single day, Yid has to learn Taita. In the morning and at night, depending how much you can learn, that's how much he has to learn. It's like any question that we mentioned in the past. You any question a person has, has a question, a shayla, he asks his rub, his mentor, what am I supposed to do here? Then, when it comes to limit of it's a great, it's a question. You show your schedule to the one, to the, your rub, to your mentor, and he will tell you, yes, you're obligated to learn Taita so many hours a day. Half an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes in the morning, 40 minutes at night, or two hours in the morning, two hours at night, it depends on your schedule. So the a yid learns Taita. So, but if you're regular, if you were accustomed to learn one daf, and you increase, in order to rectify this sin, which is associated with mayach, with brain, and you and and the and the counter that the ticket to that is learning Taita. So, what should you do? Learn two daf. Lishan is If you're learning one pedik, Yishnu Lishan a base perakim. Two. The Rebbe says etc. The Rebbe says here bechulu etc. Say, you know, the Rebbe, our Rebbe constituted the, um, the limit of, of Rambam. Interesting, the, 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 uh, the, Rebbe, the Rebbe had the Pedic Echod, the three, actually, three, uh, the series of uh, three uh, options, so to say. And again, those who could only learn Sefer mitzvahs, which is usually, you know, children or, or people, or the women who are occupied in the home, they have the ability to tap in, which is Sefer mitzvahs corresponds to the cycle of the three chapters for that matter, but it's Sefer Mitzvah, so everything is in brief. Mm-hmm. And then you have the one Pedic, you have the three Prokim, the, the main constitution was, again, the Sefer Mitzvah for children, and you could say women, but again, in the context of the fact that they're so busy and with everything they're doing, and it's the ability to let them connect to the core of the Mitzvah, which was learned by the three Prokim. And then the three Prokim was the main, the main establishment of the three chapters of Rambam. And then the Rebbe said, if it's difficult, you learn one chapter. So it was interesting you know, when the Al-Tarebbe, the Zawar Rebbe, the Al-Tarebbe, hundreds of years ago, used the Lashul Shana's Perik Yechid, Shana's Beis Perakim. And the Al-Tarebbe says, V'chulu. V'chulu means, V'chulu three Perakim. That's your Tikkun. 
Try to work it. If you could have the if you have the ability to learn one page, you understand it well. So of course, if someone can't, they can't. If someone's learning say from mitzvahs and he goes to a pedic, that's also following this this doubling his efforts in learning Taita. But if you can, and you see you have the time and you have the ability to so besides the fact that you're on the name highway of so to say of this constitutional learning Ramba, there's something over here that you have something to do in order to override this Rahman Slan verdict of Hepechachaim contrary to life and Biyichya that you'd be able to continue living to override that learn the three protein, the Khulu the Alta Rebbe says here. I heard this and I thought it you know resonated, interesting. But of course Alta Rebbe Khulu means in any other subject, but it's interesting, Shana base Prokin Bakhulu. Just to me- to mention that. But the, the the message is clear. You double your efforts because you want to override this Rahman son verdict. And your ticket is Isasik Bayraisa. So double your efforts on learning your learning title. It's that, it's important to note, it's that clear. There's an issue, and again, if anybody has, if someone has, anybody has shaykh to it, there's an issue, and it ought to be dealt with, just like someone has a, a serious issue in their business, or God forbid something threatening their life, and, and med, and medically and so on. You can't say, just, I'm just going to go on my regular schedule, which is a great, noble schedule, and I do all the good things in there. Rahman al-Salam has to take time, there's a certain urgency, take time to, one you know, rushes to make sure that uh, his medical situation is, is uh, his health situation is, is good, and, and, and the chas v'shalom is always compromised. You can't, you don't move on just with the regular, you take time, you take effort. Well, but, but I'm so busy, I'm a busy, well, no, this is something which is going to keep you alive in order to make that money, in order to go back to your schedule in the one day. So to when it comes to financial crisis, you're not just going to do it. I have to make parnasa. No, you take time and effort and mind and to 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 deal with the matter in order that you should be able to come back onto the regular routine. And if you deal with the right, the regular routine will be much better than the way it was before. And so too, there is an issue, and not to ignore the issue. If there's an issue, you have to override that issue. What should you do? You have to double your efforts on running tight, and that will look after. Achman and Slan, this sin, which there was the gima, there's the blemish in meach, in mind, and brain. Now to the right, mamish, double your efforts. Daf echad, you base daf, learning one daf, learning two. Pedik echad, shana base, brachim v'chulu, etc. And and v'hainu back to what the Rebbe writes, ki mashal chevel anifsat, like the mashal of the cord which was disconnected, the chesed v'keshrei, that you again attach it. And and knot it and connect it. The place where the knot is is double or quadruple. But this is very interesting. If you remember in the beginning of Pedik Hay, Al Tareba brings the Pasik Yaakov Chevel Nachalasi Chelik Avaya Ame. The Pasik says that Yid is a part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu the Chelik Avaya, not only the Kim but Avaya. Again, the whole message of Pedik Dahlin, fourth chapter here in Gezer Truba. And then he says Ki Chelik Avaya Ame. The Yid has himself the Chelik Avaya, which is mm, the core of a Kodesh Baruch Hu is inherently connected. Or the Yid is inherently connected to that. Shem Havaya as opposed to Shem Alikim. Yaakov, the Pasuk continues, Yaakov Chevel Nachalasi. And this comes down with a cord all the way down to the person down here in Elam Hazan connects with the Yid as in a Shem Baguf, a soul and body, connects with his consciousness, his sight, his intellect, his emotions. There is that connection where it allows the Yid to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu throughout his entire life. Alei Adam is in this world with Ava, Vigira, Nuchmim, Chochmam, Bina, and so on, because the whole idea is that there is not only in my source there, I come from Shemabai, but the Shemabai becomes part and parcel of me. So it comes down this cord, all the energy of the Yud Kei Vav Kei. As al explains what every one of these letters, what it represents on high, and that becomes part of the below, meaning to say the below is the Neshama invested in the body, and is able, the person is able to incorporate that Shemabai in his entire experience as a Yid, in a service to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and that's what the 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 chevel the pasi the chevel the pasi is talking about that connection between the yudke bavke the, 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 with the with the yid here down the mata in this world that should be the, that perfect symmetry and that should be that flow of all the energy of yudke bavke into the synth system of the person. And when the person sin, he's snipping the cord. If he's snipping the cord with minor snips, as Dal Tereb speaks about in the in the, the end of Perik Zayin, but namely Chaman when he cuts into the cord and he 
disconnected, then the flow does not come into his system. And that becomes extraordinarily problematic, and this is what the al deals with. This is the basis of sin and so on. And this is the consequence, rather, of sin, spoken about and elaborated here in these very chapters, from the beginning of Dalit, Hey and Vav and so on, Book of Vav and Zion, namely towards the end of Vav. So the point is to rectify that. And how does one do it? So he, Mayasavi to override that Misa Misa again, as Al Tarebbe speaks about there, it's not Hashem just saying, okay, I'm upset at you, I'm going to take your life away. No, it's just consequent. It's consequential to the sin itself because you disconnected that chavo, that cord. So what do you do? V'yichya, intensify your efforts and your learning Teira, which is about Maya, as Teira being an intellectual pursuit, and namely Teira is Chachmas Seishel HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You double your efforts and learning What are you doing behind the scene? You're taking that very cord and you're connecting it, but you're connecting it in a way that the connection is far greater than it was prior to the disconnect. As you can see, evidently, this is what the Rebbe is alluding to, that to, when you have a cord and it's never disconnected, it's all in the same size, in the same flow as the entire cord on top and on bottom. But if you take a cord which is disconnected, and you connect it, and the place where it's connected, that knot stands out. So emphatically, in comparison to the entire cord, in the, literally in the place of the knot, it's thicker, it's bulkier, which the al is saying, this is what you have because of the Abedah of Tshuva. You're doubling your efforts in learning Torah, that not only you're able to connect that cord, but the connection becomes much stronger, much deeper, and much grander. The place where the knot is, it's doubled and quadrupled and so on. And of course, we can appreciate the message. Great is the Abed of Tshuva more than the Abed of Tzadikim. And again, with its grand, expansive explanation, Chassidus, where the Alter Rebbe alludes to this in these very few words. The Kachahu Bechavel Nechalasu, so too in the cord in the Mashem's inheritance, which is the Yid, in that unique relationship of Akash Baruch with the Yid, as the Yid is a Chedek Abaya, Ame Hashem, the Yid being part of the Hashem Abaya. Zeru Shomer HaKasim, this is what the Pasuk says. And with kindness and truth, sin will be forgiven and atoned. Sin will be atoned. When it says truth, it's of course referring to Teda because Teda is Emes, ain't Emes Ela Teda. When you say Emes, it is only Teda. So when the Pasik says that with kindness, which is Gemilas Chasod and charitable acts and kindness and truth, sin will be atoned for, referring to Emes, referring to Teda. And then finally, as the, as the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah speaks about the sin of the Beiseli, not to go into it now, he says, no, the Karbonis will not look after that that uh, sin, as the, as the, the Pasik in, in the Navi <coughs> points out that Hashem laments and says, why do you think that you're going to connect to me with just with another Karban and between you and your fellow friend? You act disgracefully, dishonestly, and beyond that, to hurt another person, and you're just going to bring me karbonis. That's basically the context of the Pasuk. So it's Hashem says, no, it's not going to be atoned for just with another karbon, the karbon, the actual karbon, or the mincha, the flower offering. No, they need this copper. It's That's not going to bring the atonement. But we can glean from that that Hashem Baruch Hu is referring there to that, no, I want you to act in an appropriate manner in a tighter manner, in a graceful manner, in a kind manner, in a compassionate manner, between you and your fellow friend, and between you and your Creator, with learning tighter, with an additional doubling down in your efforts of learning tighter, and again, to the extent of literally doubling your efforts, base prokim, base dafim, to override that verdict, Rahman Islam Misa, that you should be the Yichi, you should have life, is longevity, good years, happy years, healthy years, and so on. And that would come through the atonement, which comes precisely through Torah, as the Gemara says, like it says in the end of the first chapter in the tractate of Rosh Hashanah, that the, that the Gemara gleans, that Hashem says, no, it's not going to be atoned by throwing on a carbon on the altar or bringing a mincha, and then in your personal conduct, there is flo- your, your flo- uh, there is, is full of flawed, but no, when you'll do it right, 
and you'll look for true atonement, you'll find that atonement in your increase in learning Torah, in your gemilas chasadim, and extending kindness, which is, again, the, this is the message of the Pasuk itself, but it's atoned for through learning Torah, and gemilas chasadim, like it says in, this, in the end of this chapter, with this we conclude the ninth chapter, we get us a tshuva, and we look forward to Hashem, beginning Perik Yud this coming week. Have a wonderful night.